This is Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and I thought I'd do a book haul. Book haul. Okay. Um, I just got one book from the library this week, and then books that I bought. Um, and I requested it from from the library. And it's Fighting to Survive by Rhiannon Frader, the second in the As the World Dies trilogy. Um, I'm really excited to read this because if you watched my review or my wrap up or whatever, you know I love this, the first one of this book. And I actually like this cover better than the, um, than the first one. I just think it goes, it goes together well. Like the last one was cool looking, but it, it just... It didn't look like it all went together, if you know what I mean. So that's my book from the library. Uh, planning to read it for the month of August. And then I bought a bunch of paperbacks, because two from Walmart and then the rest at a used bookstore, and they were pretty cheap. They were like, yeah, they were cheap. So the first one that I got is Bloodlight 3 Aftertaste. Um, this just looks cute. It has a bunch of short stories written by, you know, authors. And it says, Sink your teeth into a smorgasbord of macabre morsels laced with horrific humor in this all-new Bloodlight collection. Whether you shriek with laughter or scream in fear, well, that's simply a matter of taste. It really, it looks cool. I have, um, the second one. I haven't read it, but... It just has cute little, like, little chapter headings, and I know it's mass market paperback version, but I don't care. Um, then I got Tarnished by Karina Cooper. Um, this is the first in a new series, The Saint Crooks Chronicles. Ugh. Um, it, and Katie Cross blurbed it. I think it's steampunk. I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of cool. It's Victorian London. Um, this lady hunts um, thieves and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, see, it's got the little clocky work things in it. So yeah, it looks cool. And then I decided that I really wanted to start the Suki Stackhouse series. So I got the first four books. Um, used, so I got Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, and Dead to the World. And I like, um, I like the show covers. I think they look a little cooler than the other ones. So, they just had these two in the, um, the show covers, so I got these two. And I know a lot of people like this series. And I'm hoping that I will like it, too. Um, then I got... And I picked this one up just because I thought the title was funny. Red-Headed Stepchild by J. Wells. J yeah, J. Wells. She does have red hair. What is this? I think she's... She is, like, half vampire, maybe? So... She doesn't fit in anywhere, and the only place where where she can work, the only position she can work is an assassin. I don't know what she kills, though. I think this is the, I want to say this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one in this series. So I got that. Um, then I got Nightshade by Michelle Rowan. Um, I don't know. The back sounded cool. They, they try and use this girl to become like a living, breathing weapon against, um, vampires. And so they, she's injected with this serum that acts, supposed to act as a deadly poison to vampires. And when the scientist is gunned down in front of her, his secrets die with him. I think what it is is, like, because of that serum, her um, blood is, like, irresistible to, bleh, 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 to vampires, but it'll kill them. 
So yeah, I thought it looked cool. Um, then I got another one by Charlene Harris, uh, Gravesite. This is this is the first uh, book in her. Is it the Harper Connell? Connelly, is that what it's called? I don't know. I think this woman, like, brings... She finds dead people. Yeah. The cover's kind of cool. But so this is the other series. I thought that looked good. And then I got um, Minion by L.A. Banks. The Special Huntress Edition. Um, this is the first book in the Vampire Huntress Legends. Um... And I've been looking at it for a while. I thought, uh, I might want to start that one too. So yeah, I got that. And then the last two books I got, um, they are also in a series. And I don't know, it just looks so cool. But I got I Am Number 4 and The Power of Six by Pitticus Lore. Um, I know this is a movie cover, but honestly, that's a cool movie cover. I... I, I think I like the movie cover better than the other, you know? I mean, it's nice. It's all textured and stuff like that, but the design is just a little weird. Alien-esque, I guess. But I just think this one is awesome. Stuff blowing up, you know? So, and also, it's got the cool side action, the Lorian legacies. Although this one's not very good, but this one you can tell what it is. So I really wanted to read these. Um, I know the... They had one that's like coming out or just came out. Is it like the... Something of Nine? I don't know. The Rise of Nine? But cool. I, th I thought I'd like those. And then the one that I'm currently reading is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. Um, I'm on 152, so I'm right there. And it's fantastic, honestly. I'm really enjoying it. Um, if I really, if I just sat down and I read like I'm supposed to, um, I'm sure I'd be a lot farther, but I don't know. I just haven't had... Not It's not a reading slump, but it's just like... I just haven't had the urge to just sit down and read, I guess. But, um, I'm really liking this one. And I might, I might do a, um, video review on it. Um, it's just, it's pretty awesome. It's going in different directions than, than I thought. And the world is sufficiently creepy. And what are these rapids? They are scary, scary things. So yeah, that's all I got. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, all the people that like comment and like and interact with me over YouTube. Um, thank you. That It's cool. It's really cool. I, I like this booktube community place. Pretty awesome. Um, so... Comment if you want, like if you want, subscribe if you want. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. So I will see you guys next time. Um, and as always, happy reading.